welcome to our page. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your own custom planner. Um, more specifically though, I'm going to talk about how you can edit your current digital planner so that it's more functional for you and it fits your specific needs better. I swear that once I started doing this, this changed the planning game for me entirely. I think that I plan more consistently, even though that's not really the point to like force myself to plan every single day, but I feel like I'm more efficient and more functional with my planning system. I don't fill things out just for the sake of filling them out. I fill them out now because they really do serve a purpose for me specifically. And I feel like this is also helpful because our needs are gonna change from day to day and week to week, month to month. For example, maybe on the weekends, I don't really need a work to do list. Or maybe some days I just need to look at a time block kind of of my schedule for the day instead of seeing a bunch of different sections and lists. So I'm going to show you how you can easily do that today and make your digital planner as efficient and as functional as possible for you. Make sure to follow us if you want more digital planning and iPad tips and tricks. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I will be demonstrating today on my iPad using the app GoodNotes and using our digital planner, Passion Planner Digital. But this can apply to any digital planner, really. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. First things first, if you want to customize your planner and you're just using the GoodNotes app, the easiest way to do it would be to use the pen tool. So take the pen tool and then select the color of whatever the background is that you're basically trying to like erase. So for here, I'm using um, the black pen and then just simply go over whatever you want to erase. I can do that also in this white area here. So that way is it's really easy to do. Um, and if you're like just doing it for that single line or one little layout, it's easy to do. But say you want to repeat this process and you don't want to keep having to go into the pen tool and then write over every single area that you want to erase. An easier way to do this is to take your lasso tool and then select any blank area that matches kind of the background and then tap on that selection, click on take screenshot, click on the share icon here and then click copy and then just paste it. And then you're basically going to resize it using the photo tool to perfectly cover up that area. And then if I were you, what I would do is I would then add this as an element. So it's kind of like a sticker now. So if I add this as an element, then if I go into my elements tool, I can simply just insert this anytime I want to erase that area. If you're specifically trying to create your own headers in our digital planners, the font settings we use are going to vary depending on which planner you're in or what section that you're in. For example, for here, this is the weekly planner. This is the weekly layout and we're using Avenir 14 point in all caps for replacing the today's focus area. But if you're using our daily layout and you wanted to replace these headers, it would be Avenir 13 point all caps and they would be bold. Again, you don't want to have to do this whole process every single time you want to customize one of the headers. So what I would do is I would create a little text box sticker that said like custom header or something. And then I would take my lasso tool and again, just select this whole thing and save it as an element and that way I can easily just insert this whenever I want to use it and then just edit the header as necessary. Also I should mention if you don't have GoodNotes or you don't have the elements tool or something, if you can't add something as an element you can also just copy everything that I mentioned earlier and then just paste it into the back pages of your planner. Okay another little tip I have, I like to just have a white box sticker to erase whole parts of the layout say that like I mentioned before, like maybe there are days when I don't really need this whole section in my daily layout. Maybe that's like a little too overwhelming. I don't want to look at a bunch of lists and I really just need to look at my schedule and make a little to-do list on the right side of this page over here. So I will just straight up erase the rest using that same um, technique I used a while ago with a lasso tool and just selecting any blank area and you can completely stop there and just use everything that's already within GoodNotes but if you want an even easier process we have created our functional sticker starter pack now this is huge this is great because we actually updated these files so these come for free with any of our digital planner bundles and I'm going to be speaking about the planner bundles um, that were released in 2024. So if you have a 2023 planner bundle, um, this doesn't include that. But um, basically what this is, is this comes with a variety of different custom stickers that you can use to replace our headers and different sections of the planner. This is huge though, because we changed these. These used to be um, 
like a good note sticker book and you would like copy and paste it into your planner but the thing was that people were having issues with like having to resize the stickers and it was kind of a hassle so now these are actually um, elements collection files so you would actually import these directly into the elements tool and that way they're already resized for you you don't have to worry about any of that so you can skip this if you need to but i'm going to show you how to import these if you don't know how to import um, elements collection files into GoodNotes. So let's say you're going to open up one of our planner bundle files. You're going to go to stickers, functional sticker starter pack. You're going to look for this number two folder, functional sticker starter pack. Um, you can actually change the view so that it's list view so you can see the full title if necessary. And then if you're using GoodNotes, you want to click on the dot collection folder. You can ignore the rest of this, like the PNGs and all that. You only want to open up this folder. Um, warning, do not try to import these into GoodNotes like you would any other document or any other GoodNotes sticker book because it's not going to work. This has to specifically be imported into the elements tool. So what you're going to do from here, you're going to tap on the three dots, click split view, and open up GoodNotes. You're gonna tap on the Elements tool and you're gonna swipe left to get to the very end and tap on the plus button. And then all you're gonna do is drop, drag and drop these little collection files into the Elements tool and select Create. And you're gonna repeat this process with all of the collection files. Now that these are imported into your planner, let's, let me show you really quickly how easy it is to use these. So. A while ago, I was creating my own little affirmation sticker over here, but with these stickers, I don't have to do all of the whole like erasing the background and then adding in the text box. I can simply just add in these preset stickers. So I can add in affirmations here and let's say I don't need a work to do list. Let's say I'm just going to school. I can just replace this with a school to do list. And then let's say over here on the right, I wanted to replace this section with favorite photos from the week. It's just that easy. The time stickers are really popular, and this is great if you start and end your day at different times than the ones provided in our default layout. So let's say that you start your day at 12. That could be 12 p.m. or 12 a.m. So I would just insert the sticker here. And then let's say the next day, it starts at a different time. It starts at five. So I could just do this with every single day. Okay, let me show you how to add um, more lists into the daily layout because it's a little tricky. Let's use the, there's a rectangle, this like little um, white rectangle here. I'm gonna use that sticker and we're gonna resize it with a photo tool to basically erase this bottom portion of the layout. And then from there, we're just gonna add in this um, sticker for more lists. And the reason I say this is tricky is because you essentially have stickers layered on top of each other. Like I have that white sticker and then on top of that are these list stickers. So if I use my lasso tool and try to move just one of these stickers, I would also end up picking up the stickers beneath it. So instead, I would just either use the lasso tool or the photo tool to tap on the individual sticker to move them. From there, I would just insert the custom header sticker that I created a while ago with those specific font settings. And again, if I have to move these around, I would just use the text tool to tap on the specific text box, or you can also use the lasso tool and just toggle off images to specifically only select the text. Once this is set up, I again like to just select all of this. I don't want to repeat that process every time I'm doing this in my daily layout. So I select everything. Make sure that you toggle back on images or anything that you turned off here in the lasso tool. Um, so select all of this and then add it as an element. And then it's super easy the next time I want to use it. I just simply go to my elements tool, tap and insert this straight into my layout. All right, and the last part of the video, I'm going to just show you a bunch of examples of ways that you can customize your planner. Feel free to pause the video to take a closer look. Definitely try some of these out. Let us know in the comments below if you try them or if you have ideas of your own.
And here's the layout that I made that I use pretty much every day now. And this is specific for my needs because I struggle a lot. I've struggled with like clinical depression for several years and I struggle with a chronic illness. I have endometriosis. So my energy levels are constantly fluctuating. And so I really need a planner layout that kind of can help me organize my tasks throughout the day according to like what my energy is. So let's say that I'm having a really bad endometriosis flare up. Um, I kind of have to prioritize and say like, what are my good enough? Like if I get these tasks done, like that is good enough. And then these are stuff that like I would like to get to if I can, but if I can't, then that's fine. And I love a good done list. Like I think that's so important to celebrate the little wins throughout the day. And I like this setup too, because I can just and make sure to like use your lasso tool and turn off images and text boxes. I, it's a little tricky with this again with all the different layers, but I like to move things throughout the day. So if I finish something in my get enough goals list, I'll move that down to the done list. And then once everything is cleared out there, I can start to move things up from the would like to do list into good enough goals. This way too, if there's anything I don't get done, I can put it in the do tomorrow list. And then I have a master kind of list for this week so I can see like what's already been done and what has to be added in to the day. And that pretty much covers how to customize your digital planner. I hope you all found that helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in a comment below. And if you have any requests for like specific tutorials you guys would like to see, feel free to let us know.